Ski! Welcome back to the channel, Sonny Squad. And if you're new, welcome to the channel. How y'all doing? I'm Sonny and this is Sonny Kicks. And in today's video, I'll be showing y'all how I personally style the Air Jordan 1 Palomino. And so after much consideration, I started thinking about it. These got it for Jordan 1 of the year to me. Like, I'm really trying to think of what Jordan 1 was better than these that came out this year. Uh, nothing. As a matter of fact, my top five favorite Air Jordan 1s that came out this year are the Palominos at 1, the Spider-Mans at 2, the Travis Scott Olive Low at 3, the Black Toe Low at 4, and the Lucky Greens at 5. I'll give an honorable mention to the UNC Toe. I didn't really like those, but you know, out of all the other Jordan ones that came out this year, those those aren't the worst. But real quick, before we get started, I gotta let y'all know that I am not telling you what you need to do with your shoes. These are just outfit ideas, outfit inspirations, whatever you wanna call them. This is how I personally style this shoe. And if you like anything that I'm wearing throughout the entirety of the video, just comment down below what you're interested in and I'll try my best to find you a link and hopefully it's not sold out. So now with all that out the way, let's go ahead and get into the fits. So because fall is approaching, I felt like it was appropriate to start off with a cozy fit. So for the top, I went with a plain black shirt from Minimal. And on top of that, I have on a plain black hoodie from H&M. These are the contrast bootcut sweatpants from Minimal. And yeah, now nah, these, these are definitely like the ultimate pair of sweatpants for me right now. I love them. I have them in black and orange at the moment. I'm gonna definitely need more once fall kicks in. I'm personally not a big fan of wearing sweatpants out the house if I'm about to, you know, be out for the day or something. But but with these, I don't mind because you can really dress these up for real if you wanted to. But this is just a nice and clean, cozy fit if you about to just chill for the day, not do too much. And when it comes to styling the Palomino ones, do not be intimidated by the brown. Great if you know what to do with it, but focus on the black and the cream. I'm telling you, it'll make your life so much easier. But if you already know what you're doing with color schemes and all that stuff, you can definitely go crazy with these. And as for the accessories, you already know I keep it very simple, chain and earrings, and I keep it moving. So next up, I went with the same black t-shirt from Minimal, and for the jeans, these are also from Minimal. To be more specific, these are the B455 Flare Denim. And it's been a very long time since I wore any distressed jeans. It's actually been well over a year. And I kind of missed it, so I had to go ahead and grab these. But nonetheless, a very safe and solid fit. What I mean by that is I can wear this with any other sneaker and it'll still look good. Next up, this is the white long sleeve tee from Minimal. And I really like the quality. It seems to hold up very well so far. I went true to size and I have lanky arms. So, you know, I really appreciate the sleeve length on those. And now for the pants, these are some Woodland Camo flared cargo pants and they, they're just hard. I, I'm not really a fan of wearing camo pants, but when it's Woodland Camo, oh yeah, yeah, nah, I need those for sure. And the fact that there's also black and white throughout the pants just makes the entire outfit it seemed more balanced and yeah this is this is a hard fit right here and i don't know how it even got this far but it seems like i became like a flare jeans connoisseur overnight like yeah i think it's safe to say that those are my absolute favorite pair of pants to wear right now oh and i almost forgot to mention but for the pants i had got these from step one streetwear and because i just showed y'all the white long sleeve shirt i might as well show y'all the black one as well which is by far, I've said this a million times, my favorite clothing pickup of this year. Yo, like, I, I really love this shirt. It doesn't even make any sense. This shirt just makes everything look better. It's like an enhancer. I don't know why, but it just, it works with everything. I'm not sure what kind of magic they put into this shirt, but it it's beautiful. And for the pants, I had got these from Reputation Studios. They are the black cargo flare denim. When I first got them, they felt a bit stiff, but after some wears, they started to break in very nice. And I really like how these pants look with Jordan 1s, 4s, and Air Force 1 lows. They go crazy. On the website, when looking at the pants, I thought that the paint splatter would be a bit too much, but after trying it out, seeing it in hand, 
yeah now nah, these the, these are definitely clean i like how it's not doing too much but it also adds some dynamic to the pants and the outfit now even though this is a slight detail i really like how it came out on the pants but the out seam and in seam is this like washed black it almost looks gray fire now i really wasn't trying to wear that much black but i ain't gonna hold you once it starts getting colder outside i love wearing all black fits and just different fits that include a lot of black because yeah i just i enjoy wearing predominantly black or gray and then throwing in pops of color throughout the fit to make it just stand out that much more and plus it's an all black fit you can never go wrong with an all black fit it's the biggest outfit cheat code in existence it works with any shoe in existence and if you say it doesn't then you're just not doing it right i don't know how that's possible but yeah Next up, this is the Counting Stars Graphic Tee, and I got this from Kinetic Kings. Now, they're mainly known for their shorts, but their shirts are definitely hard as well. I really love the boxy fit because it just looks great when sitting on top of any of my pants. And I was trying to see if I should put these pants with the shoes because I wasn't sure if the shades looked right together, but hey, it does when I looked at it in the light. They were very close to each other and it was good enough for me to go ahead and A-OK -okay the fit. If you never tried anything from Mint Crew before, I highly suggest it. They have amazing jeans and pants. And I was trying to see if I should put on a hoodie with this fit, but the hoodie just kind of was in the way. So I left it as is and I think it looks really good this way. Next up, I'm wearing my Billy Madison graphic tee and I had got this from GoCrew. I really enjoy wearing this shirt, it matches just about every sneaker that I own. And it wasn't until recently that I was like, oh wait, there's some brown on this shirt and it's where the desk and chair is. I don't, I don't know how I never caught that, but yeah, this shirt has a little bit of everything in it. So of course, after realizing that, I had to put it with the ones. And then I went with the D212 jeans from Minimal in the black colorway. And for the jacket, once again, it's my plain black zip up hoodie from H&M. And I typically try on outfits before recording them, but I didn't have to do that with this because I wore this exact same outfit before with my shadow ones. And all I'm doing is replacing the shadows for the Palominos. And the fact that I'm able to even do that lets me know that I am definitely about to wear these shoes a lot because the shadow ones, by far one of my favorite pairs to wear out of my entire collection. And next up, one of the color combinations I really wanted to do was like a baby blue or some type of shade of blue with the brown. And I don't really have many shirts or jackets like that, but the first thing I instantly thought about was, oh wait, it will look good with navy too. I have a lot of navy. And so I decided to wear my Nautica fleece jacket. Um, of course, I'm gonna wear these shoes in the winter as well. So this is definitely a fly winter outfit right here. And it doesn't matter what shirt you have on underneath. I just went with black because, you know, if I decided to take the jacket off, I got a solid all black fit again. But without a doubt, the navy fleece jacket is what really makes this outfit stand out. And then for the pants, I had got these from Minimal. These are the D152 cargo denim. And I ain't gonna lie, the straps on the side, they're starting to grow on me. At first, I was gonna cut them off and then I thought about it, waited a bit more, and now I don't mind it. It adds a really nice dynamic to the outfits and it's insane how good they look with Jordan 1s. It's almost like they were made for that very reason. So at the bottom of the pants, there's a slit at the opening and I think that was another great addition to the pants because it just shows a bit more of the shoe. The pants fit true to size, they're mad comfortable. They do have a bit of weight to them, but that won't be a problem. Just something that I feel like I should point out for anybody that is interested in these cargo pants so if you enjoy content like this and want to see more this is definitely the place for you i do other sneaker videos clothing videos lacing videos and yeah anything else relating to sneakers or clothing content it's all here on the channel so once again if you enjoyed please hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new or if you haven't yet bro what are you waiting for the grind is not stopping we on that road to 100k comment down below which fit did you like the most and Yeah. I hope all of y'all have an amazing day. Stay safe and see you next time.